Yep, looks good. You got that liver cut into two good pieces. In the reaction used in this demo, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, is broken down to produce oxygen gas. Okay, Andrew, go ahead and add the manganese dioxide to the tube with hydrogen peroxide already in, and just go ahead and lift it up so we can take a look and see what's happening. Okay, what do you see? What's taking place? Bubbling. Okay, we can definitely see that there's bubbling taking place in the tube. Okay, we can even see that there's oxygen, I think, coming out of the top. Okay, Simone, are you ready with that? Go ahead and get that burning. Okay, we need maybe a little bit more than that. Just get a good flame. Okay, now just go ahead and blow that out. And you're going to dip that end into the tube. Okay, what did you see? It's lighting up again. And that, because it's lighting up again, we know that what is being produced by the reaction. Oxygen. Oxygen. A wood splint test can be done to prove that oxygen gas is being made by the reaction. Once the reaction is going, there is a high concentration of oxygen in the upper part of the flask. This causes the piece of wood with the glowing ember to reignite and start burning again. The driving force of this reaction is the addition of the MnO2, which is a catalyst. Okay, what are we looking at in this tube? Sand and H2O2. Okay, and what do we notice about the tube on the inside right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the sand's going to the bottom. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and let's try that splint test. That's, that's good right there. Okay. Yep. Okay, that looks good. All right, are we noticing anything this time? No. no. All right, what are we looking at in this tube, Andrew? Uh, liver and H2O2. Liver and H2O2, okay. And Simone, you almost ready with that? Let it get a good flame going. Okay, now go ahead and blow it out. Okay, and let's get to the... All reactions have activation energy, or required startup energy. Catalysts work by lowering the required activation energy, which makes the reaction happen more easily and more quickly. All right, Andrew, what are we looking at in these two test tubes? Um, it's the old liver split into two and then put into two different test tubes yeah. with the old liquid. Okay, and the old liquid is also divided into both of the two tubes we can see. Okay, good. Okay, Andrew, just go ahead and use the glass stirring rod and push the new liver down in with the old liver and the old liquid. All right, and what do we, what do we observe happening with this one? Not much. Okay. Eyeball it. Yep, you can eyeball it. All right, Andrew, go ahead and put in two milliliters of new hydrogen peroxide to our test tube here. Okay. And just maybe shake, shake it around a little bit. That's good. Okay, what do you see happening? Uh, starting to bubble here. All right, yeah, definitely we can see that. See those bubbles forming. Okay, nice. What's for dinner? Looks like chicken liver. Okay, Simone, go ahead and add hydrogen peroxide into the test tube here with our cooked liver. That's a good volume right there. 
Okay, and Andrew, maybe you could just lift this up a little bit higher so I can see it. Okay, what do you guys notice happening in this uh, test tube? It's kind of bubbling, but not really that much. Yeah, it's bubbling a little bit. Bubbling a little bit? Okay, is it as much as what we saw before? No. Okay, definitely, I would say that I agree with you. It's not nearly the level of bubbles that we saw with the other test.